I bring uh, on the table a lot of accomplished gentlemen, Mr. Gaurav Vallabh, who is a program director at XLRI, Mr. Pankaj Dhingra, who is the partner of Becker Education, himself a CA and CPA with around 22 years of work ex, and he was last uh, working with BCG, and Mr. Krishan Mishra, an IFT alumnus and the country head of Becker India. We are here to discuss a very contemporary topic in terms of the advanced finance program from XLRI, which is being offered now as a combination uh, with US CPA from Becker. So let's say you are uh, a CA inter. In spite of multiple attempts, you've not been able to clear the CA finance. And now, without a professional degree, it becomes difficult for you to scale up the ladder. So now, uh, what can be a good option? Of course, CPA, uh, which I have been advocating on this channel for quite some time, but there is an element that, you know, with a CPA, there is only as much as an accounting or an auditing profession that you can enter into. But with the advanced finance program from XLRI, so probably you can help get transition into corporate finance roles, investment banking, and not just accounts or tech. So I welcome our participants to this show. Uh, so Mr. Gaurav, uh, yeah, good, evening. Friend, good evening. And my first question to you is, you know, what is the core idea that led to the genesis of this program? See, when we talk about CPA or chartered accountancy for that matter, we always used to say that this guy, gentleman or this boy or this girl had a very good in-depth understanding of accounts audit. But the same depth of knowledge, I can't say about finance. So this program, I can say, is a dual qualification. I will, I will name this program as an accounting and finance program. Because on one side, you are getting an accounting qualification, which is globally accepted like CPA. And on other side, you are getting a finance uh, knowledge, like knowledge on the subjects like derivatives, on the subjects like risk management, on the subjects uh, like modeling, R, uh, using R for uh, financial models, or subjects like uh, 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 CAPEX, capital expenditure planning, subjects like financial statements analysis, subjects like cost control and cost management. So when I, when I say accounting, there is a, a, a different stream of subjects like advanced accounts, US GAAP, IFRS. When I say finance, there is another line of things. So this is a dual program. And I will say that few word which I would like to use for this program is accounting and finance program. You are getting the best qualification of accounting and you are getting the best knowledge of finance from the best professors in our country. Uh, you are on mute. And you're on mute. You're on so mute. I was looking at, you know, what are the kind of, uh, in terms of pedagogy, like XLRI is renowned for uh, the traditional case study method. So will that also be applied? Like, please take us through, you know, how do you plan to take through this course? So what I understand is that this is a mix of online learning as well as a blend with the campus immersion. So there'll be like four weeks of campus immersion throughout this entire program. So, you know, how will this really add value to a student who is now mostly into the correspondence mode of education, you know, those campus immersions and these online programs? How have they, they, they been designed in terms of... Please tell us exactly how that impact will happen. I will give you a few examples, Anurag. Like there is a, a, a hardcore conservative classes where there will be a concept and that concept is a age-old class. I, I, I want current ratio. So I have to, first of all, give you a theoretical perspective of that. Then we will have a cases and not only cases which are the, the cases of Harvard or Ivy League, we have our own cases which were written by us and these are Indianized cases because uh, for example, I'm doing an analysis of Boeing or uh, if I'm doing an analysis of foreign instance TCS, 
So for me, the learning value for because I have to operate in an Indian environment, I'm more concerned with the TCS analysis rather than an analysis of Boeing or Airbus for that matter. This is point number two. Point number three, other than cases, we have our simulation games which we had designed for the like in derivatives, we will be having a simulated trading environment. So we, that, 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 that is also going to be discussed. So there will be a classroom sessions, which will be having a black board or green board or white board. There will be cases which will be a a, a class we will be having a real life trading platforms also with us like we have bloomberg so we we will expose the students there also that they will be seeing a real life um, uh, trading which is happening the real life decisions which they are taking how how this is going to impact what theories they had learned can they apply those theories in these environment so these are four pedagogical tools primarily we are going to use other than that, there will be a group assignments, there will be an individual assignments, group assignments will definitely it's going to help the students to be a team player, uh, individual assignment helps the student to be a, a excellent player because every assignment is focused on a particular skill. So it's, it, these are five, six issues which we, you, we are going to use in the pedagogy as far as finance is concerned. As far as accounting is concerned, I can say, give you many examples because backer is known in the world. They know what is the CPA, what are the questions generally it appears, how to answer those questions. They know everything about the CPA exam and the experts here on the panel, they will also give their opinion on that. I gave you a perspective of pedagogy as far as finance is concerned. I think uh, this reminds me of my MBA days and I think one of the biggest takeaways for us was this simulation program that you pointed out because I remember we were competing with maybe some 200 teams from different parts of the globe on the similar simulation project and we had to design in terms of capex allocation and our marketing decisions etc and that was like over multiple weeks and our performance and our rankings used to fluctuate and that was something which was real uh, time learning in terms of you know how you would operate as a CEO of a company. You would take these decisions, they would impact your market share, your profitability and your relative ranking in the order. So from that perspective, I think that's really good. Uh, from Mr. Krishnan, uh, I would want to understand that better advantage in terms of you know the CPA thing because the CPA and the advanced finance management, how would they both combine together? Thank you so much, uh, Anurag, for this uh, wonderful question. And good evening, everyone. So uh, when we talk about Becker, as Professor Gaurav very clearly mentioned that Becker is known for CPA. In fact, Becker is synonymous to CPA worldwide. In fact, 90% of the students who look forward to doing their CPA, they look forward to Becker. Why Becker? Because obviously Becker provides the real-time practical uh, learning environment to all the students who are looking forward to CPA qualification. There's something which we have been doing since 1957, Anurag. So it's been 65 plus years for this organization wherein we have been providing the qualification like CPA to all the students around the world. Now, uh, talking about this platform which Becker provides, our platform is uh, through uh, artificial intelligence based software and we ensure that students are supported throughout their learning, right? Start uh, Starting from all the subjects which are there in the CPA uh, curriculum to the examination. So at each and every level, the support is being provided by Becker. Now, talking about this program, which is a good integration of uh, the uh, CPA with the advanced finance, I would like to say that this is one course which is very, very unique in itself worldwide because this is coming from Acceleri. Acceleri is known for though HR qualification for a very long time. Uh, now, Acceleri would be very much known for the finance qualification also. We know that the uh, Delhi campus of Acceleri is looking forward to becoming the financial hub because it is very close to the financial hub of the country, which is Gurgaon. Um, talking about the faculties, you have seen Professor Gaurav here and the faculty of Acceleri is world class. They are going to teach uh, the various courses here, along with uh, the experts from Becker who will be teaching the accounting related subjects. So what will happen is, uh, and it's very clear, and you asked this question to Gaurav sir that why this program? And I'll tell you that 
the reason behind this program was that if you look at accountants, they're really very good at technical skills. However, what they lack is more knowledge about finance and management and leadership. When you look at managers who come uh, through a background like MBA, like me, they lack the technical skills when it comes to accounting, right? So here, what will happen is the person who will come out with this, uh, this qualification or this dual qualification would be one step above the normal crowd in the market. Why? Because obviously they will have a CPA designation and a qualification. They will also have a PG program in advanced finance from XLRI. So very, very unique combination. And then obviously sky is the limit for them when they pass out. And I think you've made a very valid point because in terms of uh, you know, even places like investment banking, venture capital, private equity, uh, no matter how glamorous they are and the common perception is that entry there is restricted only to people with a B-school pedigree. The fact is that on the day-to-day -day basis, there's a lot of analysis of financial statements that needs to be done to get into the notes of accounts, read the policies and understand the tax liabilities, contingent liabilities, etc. And that is where Having a CPA background is something to my mind is going to help uh, when that gets combined with the advanced financial program that XLRI is going to impart. Uh, correct me if I am wrong, uh, Professor Vallab. So is that understanding correct? That you are really geared to you know become a full-fledged finance professional. You can analyze financial statements in depth, plus do the corporate fin in terms of the advanced valuation and the simulation and the derivatives part of it. Anurag, in a very simple manner, four of us are there sitting and discussing. Pankaj is a CPA qualified, he knows the accounting. And Mr. Mishra is, is a MBA from a reputed institute of our country. I'm going to teach Mr. Mishra accounting and I'm going to teach Mr. Pankaj finance. That is what this program is going to do. Or, if there is someone who is having both the knowledge, both finance as well as accounting, but they are semi-knowledge or semi-qualified, then I'm going to fill up the tank with the knowledge of both accounting as well as finance. This is very simple. And there the need of this program is there. There is no program in the country who caters to these two needs. And you are very correct. Like I will give you one example that I have a, an item in my balance sheet called as deferred tax assets. It's a very common item. In, in, in fact, on any sec, in any second balance sheet you will find, or deferred tax liability. Now, until and unless I don't know that how this item entered into the balance sheet, can I use that item for the analysis of that company? And you will be surprised some companies are having DTAs to the extent of 7 to 9% of their total balance sheet size. Absolutely. So 7 to 9% item can't analyze because I don't know that why this DTA entered into the system. There, the accountant, the accounting knowledge which Becker is going to provide, I'm going to use that. And then I am going to build on that, that these items had arised because there is a timing difference. And these are going to be reversed in the days to come. So if the expectation of their reversal is within 12 months, I'm going to call them as current assets. So this is what I'm going to teach. And how they entered into, because of timing difference, Becker is going to teach. Now tell me, if, if any one of us is missing, can you analyze that item? Oh, or DTA or DTL. That is the need of this program. I was once attending a board meeting uh, where the managing director was from a non-accounting background. He saw the balance sheet, he saw deferred tax liability and he said, why don't you pay them off? And uh, it was like, sir, it cannot be paid off uh, because these are like, uh, because of an accounting construct. And that's where, you know, if you are in the boardroom meetings with a CPA as well as the finance program, uh, this is going to really help. And uh, what uh, Mr. Mishra also told me is in sync with, you know, the broader view that I keep getting about artificial intelligence, the role of hands-on skills in CPA. So if you compare with the Indian counterpart, CA, CA is still a lot into rote learning, but it is not like, you know, you actually have to work on a laptop on the exam day and actually file some tax returns or do some sort of an 
filing which is demonstrating your actual hands on skills so mr mishra uh, your software is going to help us uh, as a student actually get hands on experience on that real time exam thing right that's right and not only the software uh, anurag uh, faculties like pankaj will be there uh, teaching the students the real time examples that, that how they have handled these things in the practical environment in industries now for example pankaj was the ex um, global finance director of bcg and uh, with his experience of 22 plus years in the field of accounting and finance he'll be able to add a lot of value to the curriculum in the similar way we'll have other faculties who are going to teach now because uh, content would be obviously used by them to teach the students students would be needing it to prepare for the exams uh, as i clearly mentioned to you and you have given a very good example that most of the courses which are being offered in our country have been based on rote learning uh, theory based learning however a cpa kind of a program is more practical application based in the similar way the mba programs which are being offered by the management institutes like xlri are application based and practical now if you look at any professional accountant in the world because they study in silos they never get an opportunity to work in groups and i'm sure you're a chartered accountant plus a mba right so you'll appreciate this fact however if you look at mbas they work in groups always presentations in group case studies in groups right group discussions before entering the mba institution right so practically they have they get an opportunity to work in teams however for the accountant he always gets an opportunity to work in silos now think about a real time situation that nowadays if you uh, just look at the current data which is coming is that most of the people who are becoming ceos nowadays they come with a finance and accounting background now the reason behind they taking over ceos position is that they can actually look at the bottom line not only the top line right so somebody like me who is into business development and sales will always talk about the top line for the organization somebody like you and pankaj and gorav sir you guys will talk about the bottom line right which is more important now a ceo cannot say, tell the market that oh i don't know anything about my balance sheet i don't know anything about my finances my cfo knows ceo also needs to know this right and that's what we were, we are trying to do that we are trying to give both the skills to the individual while he is going through this particular course at xlri so this will prepare him to become a very very unique professional who knows the nuances of accounting and the advanced finance and particularly he'll be the right fit for the leadership roles going forward yeah and a pertinent point here that i would like to make is a, a recent opinion also that i got published in the hindu business line that if you are a vc and if you have an accounting background so what happens is that you know in case of like an oyo financials you see this adjusted ebitda thing that is now going around or the byju's financials in terms of deferment of revenue and the accounting standards so there you know as a vc you can take the right investment decisions after analyzing the accounting and auditing aspects of it also so deloitte for example refused to sign the financials for a long period of time they had to reverse revenues because they were like booking all that revenue in totality today itself as compared to spreading it over four years those are the kind of things i think uh, with this cpa and advanced finance program you will be really able to understand my next question will be you know okay uh, so this is like you know free for all anyone who is able to pay will be able to get an entry into this course or is going to be that some sort of a screening they want to look at some work cash so the admissions process also kicks off in the near future i suppose so what are the attributes that you are typically looking at in a candidate who is applying for this program so i think uh, professor gaurav you would like to add first and then uh, we'll add further so uh, about the selection so, criteria which is the toughest i know uh, so <laughs> it's not uh, uh, anrag not somebody who wants to do and pay they start a, a training program it's exactly yeah, that's the point say, i wanted to clarify ah uh, it's not a training program that anyone who wants to have a check of a specified amount can enter that's that is not the case here we have uh, our parameters of uh, uh admitting a student which includes academic performance which includes uh, uh, the the suitability of the candidate for the program which includes relevant work experience which includes diversity diversity which includes we have a personal one to one interaction before getting the students uh, into this particular course and we have a weightage for all these parameters like uh, academic performance we have a 30% weightage in a in a finalizing the merit list uh, suitability like 10% for example i had worked for a big four 
and uh, I'm semi-qualified and I had a relevant work experience. So we feel that he's more suitable than a guy who, who had not worked in a hardcore financial environment. So uh, similarly, the relevancy of the work experience that, uh, for example, I'm teaching, uh, I'm getting someone which, who is having a, a, a very hardcore banking experience. And I know teaching him risk will be very joyful and he will enrich himself from, because he's, he, every day he got stuck himself uh, when a financial risk number comes, that credit risk is X. So he's saying how credit risk can be X or uh, uh, 2 lakh rupees or 2 million rupees or 2 billion rupees. How this is possible? What are the formulas to find out the credit risk? What are the models? What, uh, sometimes like, I, I will give you a, one more unique example. Like uh, I been the director of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. So if you ask a, a chartered accountant any question on taxation or audit or uh, the accounting, you he will never miss the target. He will be very pinpointed. But if you ask him that, okay, uh, can you give me a, a exponential modeling for the credit risk? And he says, he will think, what are these names? First time I'm hearing, oh, credit risk, exponential model, so uh, that 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 is where uh, the need or that that is what this program is going to bridge. So we have a, a very a elaborate uh, a, a admission procedure, and we are going to strictly adhere to that. See, we are also giving weightage to diversification. Why, Anurag? You know, because it's a team learning. We want to have a culture of the team learning. So. You, you can have team learning when you have a diversified portfolio. All chartered accountants can learn with each other or all semi-qualified chartered accountants can learn from each other. But if I'm having one bank professional officer also, a, a one boy who had done a, a, a trading with the Goldman Sachs or for that matter for any trading uh, uh, or for the any uh, Indian or in foreign bank. So there will be learning. I don't know how, oh, I'm a chartered accountant working in a big four for last five years. I don't know how repo rate movements affects the inflation. I don't know. Uh, so th th this is where these program or this program is going to help me. And similarly, I will give you a reverse example. I may, I know everything about how repo affects the interest rates. I don't know that what is fair value accounting for derivatives. I don't know. <laughs> and I got stuck there. Somebody says, oh, this is a financial lease, so it will come both the sides of balance sheet. Oh, I said, how a how thing can be asset as well as liability at the same time? It's very confusing. So that is where this program comes. So it's a, it's a, I gave you both the examples. I assume myself as a accounting guy where I am missing the targets. Targets means where targets of knowledge. And assuming myself as a hardcore finance guy who knows many things about finance, but where I'm missing the accounting knowledge. And at the end, you are getting a CPA qualification. Please appreciate that. Oh, globally accepted qualification as far as accounting is concerned. And at the same time, a extremely contemporary knowledge on finance. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to give that I'm the best in the world, but I can tell you with very confident words that XLRI finance faculties are best in our country at least. And uh, the degrees, you know, really speak for ourselves in the professional world, since I run a job portal also, you might be very talented, but if you don't have a degree, your growth gets timid beyond a point. And you know, when I was just, as you we were speaking, and I was very curious to check up your degrees, and I found that you are an FRM, you are a CA, you are a CS, LLB, MCOM, Gold Medalist, PhD. Now, with all these degrees, I will not question your capabilities. And, you know, that is the thing in India, especially in the US and all, it's not still degree is not that important in, in as it is in the Indian context. So it's glad. Then the point that I wanted to underscore was that if it were a free for all, just pay a check and get an admission into a course, 
normally uh, in the indian context it becomes difficult to justify that i went to this course and all they said theek hai bhai paise diye tumne tumko ye course ka admission mil gaya you got the degree but that now i learn that you have a well defined admission process with the due weightage is given to your academic professional diversity etc it really helps and diversity you know uh, here for example i really still would not know that people from non finance background would come but you know sometimes it could so happen that beyond a point of time someone with a business development background would now want to join this program and understand that okay sales and marketing would not make him cfo and then ceo of a company so maybe with this program he adds up so he now can get the top line on the ground and as the cfo ceo can also understand the bottom line and the top line so from that perspective i think this is a very good program from a diversity perspective on a very lighter note than rag when i did my ca i was under impression that monte carlo is a brand of a sweater but later on i realized that this is a simulation platform so <laughs> so that is, that is that is a learning absolutely absolutely there's a lot of learning that can happen when you know you have these full time professors teaching you and i can tell you from my personal experience coming to uh, there are two questions uh, which get on the top of the mind of any uh, individual who opt for these kind of programs one is placement you know when i say that you know i'm getting into a program which is being run by excel or i by pecker what are the kind of placement opportunities that will be available for me in terms of will there be internships in terms of the final placement support where do i get and that this being the first batch one might want to get all the more skeptical in terms of mera kya hoga so what are your thoughts on that so anurag uh, just to add here uh, because this program is for working professionals so they come with some background some years of number of ex- years of experience uh, internship might not be a requirement because it's a par pack program you know that it is a 11 month program we are going to offer to the candidates so they don't have much time to go for the internships however uh, there'll be a 100% placement support which will be provided and you know the quality of placements which happen at institutions like excelrai and uh, so i need not comment much on that but yes definitely uh, they can look forward to getting into the best of the organizations including the investment banks and the other uh, and multinational corporations now if you look at uh, the cpa cost itself right and uh, i can tell you one one thing here that there is not a single cpa around the world who is unemployed mm. right not a single cpa you can just check that the, the data is available there not a single cpa who is unemployed so practically uh, employment should not be a concern the major focus should be on the ability for people which is when we say employability two words are employment and ability our focus would be in the ability uh, sky will be the limit as i mentioned to you last time also that yes if they get into this program they'll be one notch above the normal crowd uh, which is there in the market so 100% placement support from our side however people who are coming through sponsorships obviously we know that sponsored candidates normally do not opt for the placements and they can be someone who is looking forward to entrepreneurship so Uh, they also will try to support them. so probably you know this uh, there are a lot of people who might not want placement they already at a very senior level in their organization let's say as a bcom or as a semi qualified ca they grow through the ranks but today if they may be mid 40s late 30s they realize that there is a need for professional certification and degrees so in that case uh, they might offer this program and placement might actually be a secondary objective also for a lot of participants in this kind of a program So I'll I'll quote an example here. Think about any large big four organization or any other corporate, right? And they had a lot of people who are MBAs, and they ask them to go for a CPA later on. They also hire a lot of CPAs, and they actually opt for an MBA later on, right? Why? Because they need to get into the leadership roles. So, uh, like for example, somebody who has got into a leadership role, he needs technical skills. Somebody who lacks the technical skills, uh, sorry, who has the technical skills, lacks the leadership skills, so he needs to go for an MBA kind of a program. Here, uh, the organization is getting both the uh, things together. Number one, number two is the cost towards training people also goes down. So organizations would be more than happy to hire such people because they are coming with the knowledge which they actually require. Right. So uh, it actually kills both these things that you are you are getting the right fit for the people through this program. also you can look forward to getting a growth within the organization i know for sure that there are a lot of people who are semi qualified right now and they are not able to move ahead in their career or career paths because they do not have the right qualification a qualification from excelrai and a qualification like cpa 
combined together will make them uh, grow further uh, and i can tell you that uh, they they can look forward to moving ahead at least two or three times from whatever they are at uh, right now so that's what we foresee we, we have seen a lot of organizations who are very much happy to look forward to such candidates uh, when when it comes to placements yeah well, i mean the job markets are on fire i know uh, this is an unprecedented situation uh, in the indian context since i run a job portal also for 10 years i have never seen this kind of crisis in, in the market you just got to have some sort of skill set some pedigree people are just willing to just take you on board in terms of the cost uh, so this 12 lakhs plus gst that i read on your brochure what all does it include and what all does it not include if you were to just clarify for someone who want to make a mind and uh, in terms of financing is there some education loan will i have to put my house on mortgage or will it be unsecured you know what kind of that will be there <laughs> yeah so that's a that's a wonderful question and the example you gave is also really wonderful <laughs> the 12 lakhs plus gst will cover the entire component towards the cpa studies and the etc uh, pg program studies uh, also the uh, campus immersions though the stay uh, is something with for which they have to pay extra which is quite nominal excel will ensure that uh, we, they do not make money out of this staying in the campus actually so that much i'm aware of right uh, the, the other thing is that in addition to this they have to pay for the cpa examination and evaluation which is a additional fee now um, when it comes to education loan yes we have got uh, some of the reputed banks and nbfcs from where they'll be getting it and i can tell you that um, anybody who is looking forward to uh, getting into excelry and somebody who has been selected will not be refused uh, to get into the program uh, just because of this thing that they do not have funds to look forward to the loan would be unsecured you need not uh, mortgage your house for this right so that's not required uh, and uh, the interest rate would be uh, quite nominal and that would that much we have ensured and uh, as as i told you that placement will not be a concern for them they should not worry about that they should focus more on the ability they will be able to repay this within 3 to 4 years time maximum yeah yeah that, that i've seen you see and the amount is also not very large if you look at a lifetime value let's say you are doing this center to 25 30 for the next 30 years of your life you are having two certifications degrees to your credit so no if you got the amortized cost it is 30 40000 per annum just like a house rent you are paying a branding rent from that perspective correct correct so i think that's very good and my final question to you mr mishra will be you know since you've been an alum of iift i had that opportunity to go to the campus also for some placement uh, for some uh, discussion uh, this week how does being a part of that alumni network help how is that help in your career how does that help because in the ca thing uh, mr dhingra will agree mr valla will agree that you know we really do not have that fraternity feeling that alumni wala concept is not there so what would be your thoughts on this i would just want to understand thank you anurag um, i think alumni is like family uh and each and every alumni in the mba program tries to support the other alumni and that's what i have seen the kind of networking you are able to do and the way in which you can grow along with the other people is phenomenal uh the kind of, i can tell you that uh, for iift we have got a huge alumni network which is there in the country in the similar way for xlri has got their own pedigree in fact xlri is the first management institute to start in india so imagine the kind of alumni uh, workforce they'll have across the um, not only the country across the world best part is xlri alumni are in hr majority of them right so <laughs> if you are able to network with them you can look forward to a better career for yourself in fact wherever you are working uh, uh, i'm i'm talking to the audience here wherever you are working right if you look at your hr heads or the hr managers you'll find them they would be somewhere connected with xlri as an alumni right so with you coming up out with the xlri qualification you stand a chance to talk to them directly get connected to them very very closely because being a part of a ft alumni network i have spoken to people who are very very senior and they they have been uh, very good in terms of giving the right type of coaching and supporting you i'm not saying that they will just give you a job like that but yes they can give you the right guidance and help you in your career path in fact you will do the same with the rest of the alumni when you become a alumni yourself right so that's the biggest advantage the networking and the kind of family environment that you get is something which is really phenomenal uh, and obviously your institute will never leave you you might think of leaving the institute your institute will never leave you you become an alumni for life 
that's what i have seen your institute will keep on bothering you every one uh, every day you might receive a email some communication this is happening at your institute why don't you come and join us talk to the new students right talk to the uh, uh, aspiring students you you get those opportunities when you are alumni right so um, i'm sure uh, you have mentioned that in professional courses that is something which lacks and that was one of the reasons that we thought okay let's tie up with xlri and create a very very unique program so we are honored to be part of this relationship uh, with xlri because we are going to create that urban i network for the future of our country Raghu, on, on mute. So, Sorry. Mr. Degra, once uh, since once you got your CPA degree, I think it also helps that you would be approaching people abroad, let's say in the US or the UK. They would be taking cognizance of this CPA degree. So, let's say if someone also wants to start up their own outsourcing practice, you know, from the CPAs, it is very easy if you really get the right connects. You can set up a very good outsourcing practice in India, and a lot of people are doing that. So don't you think that also could be one good example where, you know, you have that CPA degree, you also have the management education skills to corroborate the fact that you can also run a business well. You are not just an auditing accounting professional. So what would be your take on that? Firstly, thanks. Thanks, Anurag. You know, this is one of the questions that I, that even if you would not have asked, I wanted to answer because one of the aspect of this course is not to do a job but also to, to think about something in the, in the capacity of an entrepreneur. And that is one of the theme that we have really worked out when we have been crafting this as a program, because what we have ensured is that you should be getting the right uh, understanding of some of the very important areas like the valuation, the, the equity valuation in terms of, you know, how would one be, be proceeding in the market in terms of, you know, fetching the money if he really has to how one should be thinking about building a finance as a function, how one should be thinking about finance modeling. Now, finance modeling should not be only be thought in the direction of you doing it for someone, but also for yourself and so on and so forth. So to, to answer your question, is there, a, uh, is there a capability or is there a potential uh, that is there on the side of uh, having your own uh, setup being done as a CPA? handling the U.S. tax returns in India, you know, handling the tax preparer job in India, or handling various, uh, uh, you know, 1060 S's in India. Absolutely, yes. And, and I'm in touch with many of the folks. Some of them are my students, I can tell you, you know, because I have been in this uh, in this uh, CPA teaching for like, like almost 20 years now, I can tell you that. But many of the students, they didn't really went abroad and, and, and did a job. They have now set it up their own... Uh, uh, set up in India. Some some of them are in Ahmedabad, some of them in Noida, some of them you know are in Pune. They have set it up their back office per se, wherein they're handling the U.S. tax returns, end-to-end -end tax returns of individuals. You know, part of that, part of the, you know, the the corporate tax returns, part of the filings that they have to do, and so on and so forth. So you are bang on on that. That this is one of the area one can really look forward to it if they really want to set up something over here on their own in terms of delivering the service. Okay, I know one of the CA firms, just to give an example, the guy was a chartered accountant. He joined us for a CPA program. He completed his CPA. Now he's not practicing his chartered accountancy. He's only delivering the US, US tax returns as a CPA in India. Has connected to various CPA firms over there in New York, in Chicago, and handling their tax returns right now sitting out here. And I last time I met him, he had a start of 140 folks. Imagine the kind of things that, you know, that people are doing. And just think of it with the XLRI knowledge that you get. It is not just tax returns, but you can support a VC or a P in New York and help in financial modeling. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what? One thing that, you know, somewhat or, you know, has not been discussed or said is that what we have, so, so me as an individual, you know, spending 20 years, 25 years in the industry, Dr. Vallabh, you know, spending, you know, X, Y, Z years in the industry. Mr. Mishra spending these many years in the industry. We have learned the hard way of learning all of these nuances because we have not, we have not got anything that was ready-made available to us in terms of learn, which we could have done at that point in time. For example, financial modeling. I know financial modeling, but nobody taught me financial modeling. I learned the hard way of doing it on the job as we were progressing in the business, in the job and so on and so forth. Now, if somebody comes up and, you know, say, that 
you being a semi qualified chartered accountant or you being a qualified chartered accountant you have these gaps i can fill in those gaps so that you are job ready so that you are entrepreneur ready so that you are well capable of hitting anything and everything in the market why would you not do it anybody including me you know if i go back like 20 years back and if somebody offers me this why would i not do it because this this course you know you take up the topics that we've covered sustainable finance very future oriented topic you know equity valuation project financing uh, quant methods the 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 overall project financing the overall financial modeling the, the things that we have covered is to ensure that we are able to plug all of those gaps that you may or may not have to give you a rigor to give you an edge to hit anything in the market and you rightly said you know if you have those why would you not do something extraordinary and have something being opened up in us uk who cares over and you know start doing business from there why not yeah and 90% of the cars in any city are owned by businessmen not by people who are in job absolutely so that's a very good point that uh, we raised about entrepreneurship so i think uh, we really discussed this program in depth and i would now uh, urge the users to actually go to the website to the faqs call up uh, your support desk try to understand maybe you know go through the submission process to get an understanding and then take a concerted view as to you know whether this really makes sense with an xri with a becker cpa kind of a thing to my mind you know there is a lot of potential here of course there is no guarantee to success in fact even if you are from an iit and i am background in it does not necessarily mean that you will be successful but these are good pointers to have uh, you can move in the right direction with the right skill sets and uh, in a degree driven country like india these kind of tags are going to help you put those skill sets from a simulation from an ai driven platform so to my mind just to sum up this whole thing guy and you know just final thoughts from any of you uh, just as we wrap up this session you know if you if you allow me you know i just wanted to say one thing uh and especially coming from the corporate background you know after working with the names like wipro blackrock you know largest financial services firm and then with the largest consulting organization like bcg one thing that is surely missing in any finance guy and again i'm just repeating any finance guy because including me right is the application or the practical oriented skills which we learn over a period of time while we are working if somebody is able to offer you that if somebody is able to bring that on table go and grab it that would be would be a wonderful thing for you to really grow on a very very fast speed in your career wherever you are whether in your own business or whether in the job it is your choice to decide on it fantastic any thoughts from you mr mishra mr mallav yeah i think i would like to add here uh, and especially for your users and followers uh we know that uh, anurag himself is a chartered accountant and an mba so he himself possesses the right set of qualification and that's what we are trying to present to you today here now uh, during my 20 years of career what i have seen is that yes there are good number of people who come with good qualifications however they they become directionless after a certain number of years they don't know what to do right some someone might get into entrepreneurship someone might stop and say that okay i might take a gap of another one year and then come back the good thing with this kind of a program is that it will not make you stop your learning any time in life it will keep you giving you that push that nudge to actually go ahead and learn more things because today the requirement is that you not only learn you actually unlearn and then relearn right and it creates an opportunity for people who have learned something say a couple of years back they want to relearn now right so we we give them this opportunity so that they can come to the campus and learn and further what happens is with the continued professional education which comes through the professional qualifications like cpa as well as being a alumni of xlri you will keep on learning and improving yourself throughout your lives i can quote one example here and we spoke about uh, ai and the other things now what has happened is because of robotics a uh, lot of robots have come and they have started taking over the jobs of a lot of people right and these robots are nothing but the softwares right so practically they can do everything 24 into 7 without taking any break here the advantage is that you as an individual is not only supposed to do that accounting work those number crunching methods and other things you are supposed to take decisions for the organization ultimately right and when you have to take decisions as a human being because that decision will not be taken by the software software will throw some numbers random numbers to you right software will throw some data to you 
what is required is for you to have that decision making skill and a program like this will make you a very strong decision maker so my point to the users and followers is that they should definitely look forward to this kind of a program and look forward to their careers moving ahead uh, and also uh, being a part of the very very strong alumni wider alumni network of excel right Professor Vallabh, your thoughts? Uh, Anurag, I had shared many perspectives, but I will like to end with two philosophical quotes. One from a professor to all your viewers, whether you are interested or not interested, but please con constantly learn, learn and learn. Otherwise, to sustain in this ecosystem will be next to impossible. If you are interested in this program, this is a very unique program. You should subscribe. For example, I am assuming you are not interested Then take a quote from a professor, learn, learn, and learn. And second thing, that is also a quote from Harvard uh, Business Review, that the greatest thing which is provided by any B school of the world. This is not my quote, I'm quoting someone else. The greatest thing which can be provided by any B school in the world is the network. And here you have network plus knowledge or knowledge of accounting, knowledge of finance, and over and above a, a globally renowned qualification of CP. So these are my two just, just to add to what Gaurav sir said, <laughs> uh, uh, net worth of yours uh, practically is your net worth. So your net worth becomes the net worth going forward. So that's what uh, sir wanted to say. Yeah, I just sir, wanted hope to I'm say right. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much everyone for your time, and I hope that this is going to help people take an informed decision about this course. Thank you all for joining, okay. Professor Vallabh, Mr. Mishra, Mr. Dinka. Thank you all for your time. Bye -bye. Thank you, Anurag. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.